Hey YouTube, it's Maya here. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm continuing my Christmas videos and for this week's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this DIY Christmas tree. So let's get started. So the materials you will be needing for this DIY Christmas tree are a hot glue gun and some extra glue sticks. Since you'll be painting you're going to need some paper or newspaper or even a towel. Paint and the colors you will need are green, white, and red. Thick and thin paintbrushes, six styrofoam balls, which my dad actually got from Walmart, and mini Christmas bows. So first you start off by warming up your hot glue gun. Now with my hot glue gun, all I have to do is plug it into a wall. Now some hot glue guns are different, you might have to press a button or something like that, but you know, every hot glue gun is different. But all you gotta do is wait till it warms up and then you can use it. Then lay out your paper on top of the surface you will be painting on and cut off the length you need and if you forget to cut the paper, this may end up happening to you like it did to me. But anyways, now we're going to start off by making the base of your tree. So you're going to start off by taking three of the balls and gluing them together like so. We got into a drifted bank and then we got upside. One trick for you guys that I like to do is I like to put one layer of glue on, let it dry for a little bit, and then put another layer of glue on top of that. That'll help keep the balls glued together. Now time to add the next layer of your Christmas tree, so take two more balls and glue them on like so. Bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Now it's time to add the final piece of your Christmas tree, the very top. So take the last ball and glue it on the top like so. Um, all is right, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so so here is the end result. Now you know how whenever you hot glue something and the hot glue leaves those little strings behind? Well all you gotta do is take some scissors and snip away at those strings. Sleep in now for the fun part, aka paint time! So first we're going to start off with the base coat of the tree, aka the actual color of the tree. So start off with your green paint. Of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy now I'm taking one of my brushes and dipping in the paint and painting it on. Now, while I was painting, I realized that trying to paint on these balls was so difficult because of their really rough surface. So I learned that just dabbing it on in like a stabbing motion like that will actually get the paint on way easier than trying to paint it on all delicately. So really stab at it to get that paint on. If you don't do that, you probably won't get it on any easier way. 
Now, I was gonna film me painting the entire thing green, but because of the amount of times I had to let it dry and put on another coat and let it dry and put on another coat, this video would have been an hour long if I showed me putting the whole thing on because even with the time lapse, it would have been so long because it took forever to cover this thing. <laughs> Now it's time to put the ornaments on the tree and I really 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 liked using the balls even though it took forever to paint but that was because the balls just give it that really awesome tree texture so it really does kind of look like a tree like from far away in the camera you can seriously see how it kind of has the same texture of a tree so that's why I used the balls but even though it was a pain to paint I think that it came out great in the end. But anyways guys, it's time to paint on the ornaments and for the ornament colors, I decided to use red and white because those colors actually mix really well with green. Also, please note, do not paint on the ornaments if the green paint is not dry. If it is not dry, the two colors will mix and it will not look good. Anyways, I am using my really thin brush for the ornaments because you don't want them to come out really thick. And I am taking the red paint and I am basically just putting little dots all around the Christmas tree to make them look like little circles, aka the ornaments. <laughs> And now, once you're done with the red ornaments, start adding on the white ornaments and be careful to not mix the two colors or else you'll start having pink ornaments. Ta-da! That's the final look. Now all you gotta do is let it dry. Now once your wonderful Christmas tree has dried, it should look sorta like this. And now we're gonna add the quote unquote stars. So I am taking one of the Christmas bows and it has this little sticky thing that comes off. So all I did was peel it off and placed it on the Christmas tree. Now, since there's technically no top to this Christmas tree, you can put the star wherever the heck you like. I actually put it on the very, very tippity top of the tree, but if you want to put it like on the front of the tree, doesn't really matter. You can put it anywhere you like. You can even add more if you want. It doesn't have to just be one. And now that my lovely DIY project is done, I decided to place it right on my bureau, right next to all my little Christmas decorations. And if you guys want to see more of those Christmas decorations, go check out my last video, which was a Christmas room makeover. Well guys, that was this week's video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up because this was my very first Christmas DIY, and there's many, many, many more to come. And also guys, comment down below if you guys are doing this DIY because I I want to see your guys' recreations. So if you do do this DIY, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter at DanceCritter6 with the hashtag MyMSXMystery. And always remember guys, when in the spotlight, strut your stuff. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye! Whoop.